I am going to explain to you how I make insane amounts of gold in Guild Wars 2, thanks to the trading post. I will explain everything to make these methods available for everyone, even casual players. Subtitles are available in multiple languages, so be sure to activate them on the YouTube settings. Table of contents and useful links are available in description. Earning money from Guild Wars 2 trading post is surprisingly easy, but many players choose to avoid it, because they see it as a challenging, time-consuming and confusing way of earning gold. Also, it isn't initially a particularly fast process, the eventual income potential is enormous. This method is available for casual players, who don't need to play each day. I am going to explain you the two methods I use to make instant gold with trading posts. The first method needs a lot of time and patience, but the second method is way faster. In addition, at the end of the video, I will tell you my three secret tips. These tips are not well known, but they will help you to make or to save a lot of gold, so watch until the end. To use these methods, you only need two things. First, a full paid Guild Wars 2 account. Free-to-play accounts have trading post restrictions. And you need at least 50 gold, because you have to invest some gold to make profit. If you don't have enough gold, don't be sad, I created an easy gold guide. How to make easy gold beginners only. Link is in description so you can watch it first, make some gold and then come back to this video. Let's start. Income is earned in 2S from the trading post. Speculation on flipping. Don't worry, I'm going to explain them to you in detail. What they are and how to do them, it's very easy. Speculation involves predicting market trends buying items at a lower cost, and then, when the market price of those items increases, you list them for a quick profit. In other words, you buy an item at a low price, you wait the price to increase, and then you sell it. For example, I bought this black lion weapon skin for 50 gold, 5 months ago. And now I can sell it for 120 gold. This is the 50 gold profit, including the 15 trading post fees. Speculation requires a lot of patience. You have to wait a few months between the moment you buy and the moment you sell the item. If you want a faster method, flipping is way faster. I will explain it after. But your main concern is how can I guess which item is going to increase in price? Which items are worth speculation? Well, I am going to tell you the top two items I am speculating on, since they have an almost guaranteed chance to increase in price. But first, what are the reasons that explain the price increase? First, items are no longer available, or they are available at a higher cost than before, like all black lion weapon skin. Or, items are available only during a short period of time per year like festival items from Winter's Day, Halloween, Lunar New Year. The price slowly increases during the year, and then drops when festival starts. That is, when the item becomes available again. The cycle repeats each year. And finally, the items are useful only in a short time window each year like achievement only available during a festival that requires specific food. So the price increases at the very beginning of festival, then drops when it's over because achievement is not anymore available. Black Lion Weapon Skin are my favorite item to speculate on. Guild Wars 2 releases a new Black Weapon set every two months or so. When the new Weapon set is released, the cost of one Weapon Skin is one Black Lion ticket but you also can buy it from the trading post. The, su the supply from the trading post comes from people that already bought the weapon with ticket and sell the weapon on the trading post instead of using the weapon. At release, the price is nearly always between 30 and 60 gold on the trading post. When your new weapon set is released, the cost is always one ticket. The price of the previous weapon set, released about two months ago, increases from one ticket to two tickets. 
on the price for the set prior to the previous set released about four months ago is increased from two tickets to three tickets. Tickets are the only way to get weapon skins released in the last six months. If the ticket cost increases, you can expect the gold cost from the trading post to increase too. It's a direct correlation. First tip. To speculate, you need to use this site. It will show you the price history of each item. Let's have a look at Equinox Black Lion weapon prices. First, here is a release of the Equinox weapon in August. The blue on red lines are the price on trading post for sale and purchase, respectively. From August to the 16th October, the price was one ticket. And on trading post, the cost is about 50 gold. The 16th of October, it was to release the new weapon set, the Mad Realm weapon for Halloween. This means that the previous set Equinox went from one ticket cost to two tickets. Look what happened. Price nearly immediately increased a lot, from 60 gold to 90 gold, in only a week. Then, from October to December, price remained stable or even went down a bit. But, the 13th of December, it was to release the new weapon set, Orchestral Skins, available at one ticket. This meant that Equinox sent went from 2 to 3 ticket, and Madrion set from 1 to 2. Look what happened. The price of the Equinox increased again at a slower rate, but it kept increasing. In February, 6 months after release, you can sell the Equinox weapon for 120 gold. If you bought the Equinox skins for 50 gold 6 months before, and then sell it for 120 gold, you earn more than 50 gold, including the 15% trading post fees. A Black Lion weapon on trading post costing one ticket is always about 40 gold to 60 gold. So you can expect a weapon costing two tickets to be nearly twice as much, and a weapon costing three tickets to be nearly three times as much. In reality, it's always a bit less expensive, because there are more parameters you have to take into account, and which help you to speculate. Here are some tips. If the weapon set is beautiful, lots of players will buy it, so the price will become more expensive and you will make more profit. If the weapon set is trash and ugly, less players will buy it and your profit should be lower. For example, this weapon set is not really that great, which explains why the cost is low. But this one is really beautiful, so the price is higher. I speculated on the Equinox set, and made 3,000 gold profit. I bought 60 weapon skins when the cost was 1 ticket, 50 gold. I sold them for 120 gold each 3 months later. If you are poor, you can start with only 2 or 3 black lion weapon, but you can still make 100 gold profit. Last tip, be careful. Because after a certain amount of time, usually about 9 months, the old weapon sets become available on the Black Lion chest. So the price will fall dramatically. You have to sell your weapon sets before that happens, or you will lose gold. My advice is to sell your weapon about 1 or 2 months after the cost switch to 3 ticket, so you are sure to make profit. If you are impatient, you can sell it before, but you will make less profit. Winter's Day gift are probably the most secure and easy item to speculate on. You don't need a lot of gold, and you are sure to make some profit with them. If it's your first time speculating, I advise you to use this item first. Winter's Day gift are only available during the Winter's Day festival, which takes place each year in December. A bit after the end of Winter's Day, the price will start to increase, because gifts are no longer available. Look at the graph. This is the price on the trading post of Winter's Day gift, so for the last four years. You can see that each year shows the same cycle. First, Winter's Day starts in December. You can loot a lot of gifts, so the cost is very low. Then, Winter's Day ends in January, and you can see that during spring and summer, 
the price slowly increases because you cannot loot the gift anymore. Then, in autumn, the price is at its peak. Finally, winter comes around. And when winter's day comes, after a few days, the price is dropped very fast because gifts are available as loot again. So, how to make gold with gift? It's very easy. Just buy some gift at the end of the festival in January. You can buy some gift for about four silver each. Put your winter's day gift in your bank. Then be patient. If you wait until at least September, you can sell your gift for nearly nine silver. This is a hundred percent profit after the trading post fees. If you don't have a lot of gold, you can buy only one stack. It will cost you 10 gold in January. And you will be able to sell it for 20 gold in September. This method is the most secure method for beginners. Because no matter the amount of people doing this, there are so many people buying and selling gifts. And the supply is so huge that even with a thousand people using this trick for my guide, it won't change anything. You will make profit. You only need to be patient. Last year, I bought 500 stack for 5,000 gold. I sold it for 10,000 gold, doing a 5,000 gold profit. The more gold you can invest, the larger your profit will be. But even if you are poor, you can make decent, easy profit. Basically, you will always gain about a 100% profit. If you invest 10 gold, you will get 20 gold back. A hundred gold, two hundred gold. A thousand gold, two thousand gold. Speculation is a long-term way to make gold. Few months. Flipping is way faster, taking only a few hours or few days. Flipping is when you place a buy order for a specific item, knowing that you can sell it for more and make profit. There with thousands of items that you can do this for until all hinges on the fact that those fulfilling your buy's order want to quickly sell the items they find. Whether it's trash weapons or food, there is a margin to be made on most items. The key is identifying which item will provide a profit after the trading post takes its cut, 15% fees. In other words, you put an order for an item at a low price, and when you get the item, you sell it at a higher price at least 15% higher to make profit. Because when you sell an item on trading post, you lose 15% from the fees. Which item should you flip? Because of the fees on trading post, you have to flip an item that got at least a 15% gap between buy and sell price. You can use this site to check if you can make profit. You can write the buy and sell price. And it will calculate the profit, including the trading post, 15% fees. Most often, the rarer the item is, the larger the gap is. The more supply there is for the item, the lesser the gap is. For example, material is so abundant that the gap is very low, so it's not an interesting item for flipping. There is multiple items you can speculate on. Just look at items of the trading post. Each time the gap is bigger than 15%, you can make profit. If you want to train first, you can try it on a very low cost item. I am going to tell you the top three items I flip, but first, I need to tell you a very important rule. Be patient. When you sell your item, perhaps it will take some time before someone buys it. Don't count sell your sell, even if a lot of people also listed it for sale at a cheaper price than yours. Price fluctuates a lot, depending on holiday, weekend, and current events on Gale Wars too. Sometimes you will have to wait five minutes, or five hours, or five days, or occasionally sometimes a month. Don't cancel it. Especially if it's a very expensive item, because when you put on sale on the trading post, you pay a 5% fee of the cost. This means that if you listed on the trading post something for 100 gold, you will lose 5 gold. And when someone buys your item, the trading post will take an additional 10% more for a 15% total. If you can't sell your sell to relist it at a lower price, you will lose this 5%. So don't can't sell expensive item listing on the trading post. Wait at least a few weeks. Be patient. 
The first item I like to flip is black lion weapon skins. Yes, you can speculate on black lion weapon skins, but you also can flip them. There is not a lot of supply, which means that the gap is often big. Check all the black lion weapon you want, but be aware that the weapon set is not anymore available with a ticket. It will probably take a lot of time before someone sells the weapon to your purchase order. The easiest thing to do is to flip the latest weapon sets. When I was elaborating this video, the latest set was the orchestral set. Let's check the different weapon skins. Let's calculate which weapon skins can make profit, and let's flip together. For example, the orchestral mice skin. I can buy it for 33 gold, put in a purchase order, and sell it for 38 gold, listed on the sell order. There is a gap of only 5 gold. Let's use the calculator. The gap is not enough. There is no profit at all. Let's find another weapon skin. The orchestral staff skin, I can buy it for 30 gold and sell it for 39 gold. There is a gap of 9 gold. Let's use the calculator. The gap is enough. I can earn more than 3 gold. Let's put an order and be patient. Now, let's check more weapon skins. You can see that sometimes gap is close, but sometimes you can make profit. The orchestral dagger skin by order is very low, 29 gold, the gap is 9 gold, so it's interesting too. Let's put an order. One day later I got my great sword and staff orchestral skin both for 30 gold. I can now sell these at the higher price. I put a small gap between higher sell and my own sell because I want this to be fast for the guide, but this is not necessary. One day later, my two orchestral weapons are sold. As you can see in my trading post history, I bought for 30 gold these two weapons, and sold for 37 and 38 gold. This is a 6 gold easy profit. This is not a massive profit, but it took me only few seconds to put order on to sell. You just have to be patient, a few hours or few days. Now let's do this on a much more expensive item for much more profit. Legendary weapon. Yes, you can flip legendary weapon and make incredible profit. But of course, you need to have a lot of gold. And you need to be patient, because less people are directly selling or directly buying legendaries. Here is my daily routine. First, I have a look at each legendary buy and sell price. This is exactly the same procedure used for the Black Lion weapon flipping. You can use the calculator to see if you will make profit or not. As you can see, Eternity or Twilight are not profitable at all. On the other hand, Frenzy, the Huller, and few other legendary are. As you can see with some legendaries, I can make more than 100 gold profit. Prices are always fluctuating, so you have to check all the buy and sell prices to calculate which one is the most profitable. Also remember to check if anyone puts a buy order above yours, because you are not the only one flipping on the trading post. As you can see one day later, now I got frenzy. I bought it for 1400 gold and I can sell it for 1800 gold. Thanks to calculator, this is 120 gold profit. Let's sell it. Few hours later, my legendary sold. I earned 120 gold. It took me 3 minutes of gameplay on a 2 day span. I showed you how to flip for Black Lion Weapon on Legendary Weapon. You need some gold to invest. But what if you are poor? There are way more items you can flip that are not expensive at all. Just be curious and have a look on the trading post. There is also this site that shows you the most profitable item to flip. As you can see, there are a lot of profitable items. Here are the buy prices, the sell prices, and the profits. Remember, some items are very long to sell, so be patient. I advise you to start with low-cost items to train. Now I'm going to tell you my three secret tips on the trading post. These are very basic tips, but they will help you to save a lot of gold, so listen carefully. Not a lot of people are aware of this fact, but the prices on the trading post fluctuate a lot, depending on the day of the week. 
Less people are playing during weekday from Monday to Friday. And there are way more people playing during the weekend, thanks to casual players. This fact has a big impact on the Guild Wars 2 economy. Most of the materials and items on the trading post are more expensive during the weekend, because more people are playing and casual players are not farming that much, they prefer to make some open world or map completion or story or chill. But they still buy on the trading post, there are more people buying than selling on the weekend, so items are more expensive. On the opposite side, items are cheaper from Monday to Friday, because there are less people buying on trading posts than farming. So my advice is to buy the item you need during week's day from Monday to Friday. When it's less expensive, and to save your item to sell it during the weekend, when it's more expensive. You may be surprised by the difference because it's very significant, from 3% to 25%, depending on the item. It's not a way to win gold, but a way to lose less gold. Don't be lazy. Don't use instant sell on instant purchase on the trading post. Nearly always buy at lower price and sell at higher price. You will save from 5% to 30% gold. When you are selling an item on the trading post at higher price, it may take some time before someone buys your item. Be patient. Don't cancel your sell two hours or two days after because it's not sold yet. Price fluctuates a lot. Wait at least few weeks before cancelling it will save a lot of gold because when you put on sell your item at the trading post, you lose 5% of the value. If you cancel the sell, the 5% fees is inevitably lost. On the contrary, when you put in the buy order, don't be afraid to cancel it and to put a better buy order price since you don't pay any fees. You should always undercut the player listings and you should only do it by one copper. Doing this guarantees that your item will be sold above someone else unless you are also undercut. Don't worry if you are, your item will eventually sell. This is a bonus. I'm doing a giveaway video each week on my YouTube channel, Legendary Weapon Giveaways. Check the description, there is an updated link to my current Legendary Giveaway. Good luck everyone. Thanks for watching, check my Easy Gold Guide and Giveaway in description. Tell me in comments if you discovered some stuff thanks to my video and be sure to subscribe and activate the bell. I now have a Patreon, if you want to support me you are very welcome. You will help me to make more videos with better quality, link is in description. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoy this video, bye.